It has been nearly a decade since the first traces of contaminated Chinese drywall were discovered in Florida homes. Just in the past year, there's been a sudden increase in new homes with the same toxic material. SNN's Melissa Warren joining us now from our newsroom to explain why all of a sudden there's an influx and, Melissa, if potential home buyers should be concerned. Contractors began using Chinese drywall in the early 2000s when an increase in demand for drywall exceeded domestic supply. But it wasn't long before homeowners began noticing a sulfur-like odor and experiencing health issues that made them question what was happening in their homes. Sometimes it's obvious, other times it's not. But Chinese drywall is something homeowners should take seriously, according to Alan Tannenbaum, a Sarasota attorney with more than three decades of experience in construction law. Tannenbaum says one of his Suncoast clients purchased a home for a million dollars and had to spend nearly half that in renovations, simply because a small amount of drywall was used in earlier renovations in 2007. One of the problems with it is a little bit of drywall in a house contaminates the entire house. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recently released a report noting the material likely causes a spectrum of symptoms and health effects. Uh, people had respiratory problems. Uh, they had an uh, allergic reaction. Some people couldn't uh, live in the house. I've been in Chinese drywall homes where you, you couldn't be in the home for more than five minutes without anybody, even somebody who's not sensitive to such things, you know, being in distress. Other homes, it's a, it's a bit more subtle. An uptick in reported cases in the past 16 months, 37 in Sarasota and Manatee counties to be exact, has some wondering if potential buyers and current homeowners should be concerned. But Tannenbaum says the elevated reports are a result of foreclosed homes entering the market. The drywall's been there. It's been sitting for years. Uh, the banks are selling this product as is. People are buying it and are, are, are finding problems. An investigation by our partner, the Herald Tribune and Watchdog Journalism Group, ProPublica, revealed nearly 7,000 houses in the United States were built using that bad drywall. Well, Melissa, if so many cases keep popping up, I, I guess a lot of people are wondering, what do they need to do to make sure that their house that they're living in is okay and to make sure uh, for people who are prospective home buyers that they don't buy a home with the problem? Well, Tannenbaum recommends all prospective home buyers have a thorough investigation by a qualified inspector and make sure to specify they check for the Chinese drywall. Sometimes you can tell a home has been affected when there's deterioration of electrical fixtures like air conditioning and refrigerator coils. All right, Melissa, good advice. Thank you.